Hi, my name is Anissa and I'm a speech and language therapist working at Neuropedia Neuroscience Centre. Speech therapists are probably best known for helping children and adults with speech and language disorders. And it's true, it's a big part of what we do, but we are also educated and trained specifically to help with feeding and swallowing difficulties too. Feeding or swallowing difficulties can lead to health, learning and social problems. It is therefore very important that feeding and swallowing difficulties be identified and treated as soon as possible. When we talk about feeding, we are referring to the whole experience. Food awareness, including touching and selecting appropriate food, bringing food or drink to the mouth, chewing and then swallowing. Feeding and swallowing difficulties can be related to other medical conditions, but may also occur without a known cause. If your child does have difficulty with feeding and swallowing, you may notice the following. In babies, they will arch their backs or stiffen when feeding. In older children, they may cry or fuss when feeding, appear to choke on their food, spit food out or vomit during feeding, cough, gag or make loud breathy sounds during meals, have a harder time chewing certain foods, be a picky or fussy eater and refuse food or have strong aversions to certain foods, or your child may exhibit challenging behaviours during mealtimes. Speech therapists have a great understanding of the anatomical structures for swallowing, the mechanisms of chewing and swallowing, and the ways that swallowing problems can occur. We are also trained in various approaches to help children who have aversions or sensory difficulties with certain types of food. After obtaining relevant information regarding your child's feeding and swallowing history, the speech therapist will assess the oral structures and oral motor skills used for feeding and swallowing. We will also observe your child's position, behavior, and oral movements that might affect the ability to eat and drink. After the assessment, the speech therapist will formulate a plan to improve your child's feeding and swallowing. Therapy could include oral motor exercises to help with strengthening of the muscles of the mouth, which will improve chewing and moving food around the mouth. If it is felt that your child is a picky eater, the speech therapist will introduce your child to a wider variety of textures and tastes in fun ways. Utilizing your child's interests and goals, this could include food play, where your child is encouraged to explore the different characteristics of food, look at different temperatures of food, and even encourage them to make simple treats themselves. If there is a concern regarding swallowing safety, the speech therapist may refer your child for a modified barium swallow, which is a moving x-ray of the swallow, to see whether there is any food or liquids going into your child's lungs. Any issues with swallowing safety could result in chest infections, which we can help prevent with certain exercises, swallowing techniques, or even modifying the texture of food and drinks to improve swallowing safety. If you are concerned about your child's feeding and swallowing, or if you have any concerns regarding your child, please contact Neuropedia and talk to us today. We will be happy to help.